same excited as is the fans. All right, opening face-off. One out by Toronto. Again, the six finishing second in the PHF last year had an incredible record, 16 of three and one. Returns to the starting lineup. Taylor Woods tracks it down. Lots of pace, lots of presence. Woods takes it up herself, takes a shot. Levier blocks it down. Um, Heaney mentioned too that she's a very offensive minded coach and wanted her players to play like that as well. So we'll see if they bring that level of energy that she was hoping to get. Prozova whiffs, still has it. There's a shot off Truly, second chance too high. Whitecaps protecting the net well early here in this power play, but still only halfway through it. Benesova skates by, here's a chance, whiffs, second chance too high. Dooley with the stop. Ricochets off the boards. Here's an opportunity. In front, blocked away, second chance denied, third chance. Lev Levier with a couple of great stops in a row as Taylor Woods tried her very, very best. I think you can see the offensive-minded aspect of their game has really come through here. Off the post. Could have gone wide there, took a deflection regardless. Dark Angelo making some noise. Wide. There's another shot, and a glove stop by Chuli. Dark Angelo, off the boards, near side. There's a miscue, opportunity for Toronto, and it's blocked away. Levier with the stop. Again, fighting for positioning, Wilson Bennett. Took the opening draw on the PHF season. Now it's a race to the puck, back behind the net, dumping pass, beautiful look. And we'll get a call. This first period, you now give them a power play late, we'll see what they're able to do with it. Oh, uh, that was Michaela Kava on the feed, a really nice one. Might have been a uh, potentially a necessary penalty because it seems like there's going to be a wide open shot. Anyway, here comes Toronto. There's a shot, top shelf, it's in. Brittany Howard for Toronto, puts the six up early. Talk about a wide open shot. She got that puck on her stick and it seemed like she had the entire ocean to shoot the puck into. Doesn't waste any time. And Brittany Howard, a player they are very excited about, scores the first goal of the PHF season. An absolute beauty. What a feed too. And we knew this about Toronto, that they have so much strength in their power play. And in their second one of the season, they're able to find the back of the net just a couple of seconds into that power play opportunity. Geraldine Heaney giving some Howard some love on the bench. Again, the first goal for Toronto this year and the first goal of the PHF season as we are the first game today. Minnesota looking to get one back right before the end of the period. Here's a shot blocked away by Chuli. Toronto, other side. Dumped off, there's a shot, and it's too high off the crossbar. Emma Woods sends it wide. There's a full spin again. We're seeing some fancy footwork there. Wilson Bennett behind only Toronto. So we'll see how they execute in their first power play of the season. Worked around, just trying to get the defense moving, and it's in! Just like that, immediately on the power play, Minnesota capitalizes. That was tipped in the slot. It looks like they're gonna be giving high fives to Sydney Moore, and she leads the charge for high fives to the bench. It definitely changed direction. We'll take another look at it here. The shot comes from up high. Oh, it goes off a Toronto stick, so it will be Morin's goal. But real nice idea just to shoot the puck here. A lot of sticks in the lane. That's, what, that's why they tell you shoot the puck. You never know who or what it might go off of on the way. 
And the Whitecaps get a nice friendly bounce here up and over the shoulder of Elaine Truly, which bounces are always helpful against a very good goaltender like Elaine Truly. They waste no time on the power play, tie things up early here in the second period. At the speed of life, visit us in our stores at athleta.com. I might be wearing some athleta right now. <laughs> Couple of shots ripped away, poked out. Julie oh, definitely facing a little more pressure here in the second period. Okay, Silva, here's a shot, blocked away, denied. Brickelick's in, putting on some pressure on the four check. Laskova doesn't have numbers, gets some help, this fancy move, and it's blocked away, denied. Levier. Another chance, onslaught continues, this one blocked Morin, pushes it all the way back. And it's in, it squirts through, Minnesota scores. Whoa, what a sequence of events we just saw there. Big turnover of the Whitecaps end. Amanda Levier with the pad save. And then a shocking goal coming back the other way. And all of a sudden, Minnesota is up for the first time in this game. Natalie Snodgrass just seemed a little confused. I think everyone was. I was going to say, I think we all are. Uh, that's why they say never give up on a play. And uh, like you said, it starts with fantastic goalie play. And that just slips through at the sliver of a window off the rebound. But Minnesota will take it. Under a minute to go. Wilson Bennett had to go behind her, and she loses it. Here's an open opportunity. Krizova, Chuli, got it. And then getting pushed around in the crease there is Lum trying to keep it in again in Minnesota's end. Lanny Sova. Here's a chance, Dark Angelo. So close. Woods on the follow through, unable to finish. Eastwood. Back to Eastwood, left point. Cross ice. Turn around. There's a chance, Woods denied. Emma Woods with an opportunity. Now Eastwood goes at it again. I think that went off the crossbar. Levier definitely looked behind her. Trying to kill it off so successfully it just feels like Minnesota trying to weather the storm but here they come grabbing that one out of the air is truly broken up Woods moves it wide here's a chance Stark Angelo finishes what a goal for Toronto Shocking that the captain, Cheyenne D'Arcangelo, ties this one up. We took a look at her stats heading into the game. We said she would be important to the sixth this season, and she's already proving that here in the very first game of the season. Crashing the net, gets her stick on it, and gets a pass Levier. Both goaltenders have been so good here today that it's not surprising that this is the kind of goal that finally beats one. This is a tough one to try to get in front of, and D'Arcangelo using her size, strength, and speed to get this thing tied at two. Space to operate for Fleming. Moves it towards the middle, loses the defender. Fleming dishes it off, and it's blocked by Julie. She stops that one from Mogren. Krizova's been really good when she's had the puck. There's a shot by Baldwin, blocked down by Julie. Off the rebound, no one can get a clean look. Shepherds off the boards, puts it back to Krizova. Krizova behind the net, swerving forward. Leaves it in front, Julie blocking it down. There's chaos, where's the puck? And it's stopped away before it finds the back of the net. Chuli is on her back, defenders behind her. Turnover. Brittany Howard, 1v1 situation, waiting for her teammates. Howard takes it herself, and it's wide. With a pass, I like that she goes for the shot there. Darkangelo, pass a couple defenders. Darkangelo whiffs on the second chance, tries to backhand it in. It's Howard. That was through the air, it would have been tough. That's Baldwin with the block for Minnesota. Another opportunity. Wrap around. Oh my. 
That right was on the line. Right on the line. Saved. Tinker is the last to touch here, but it's 2 2. We played three periods and we don't have a winner quite yet, so we will head to overtime here in the opener of the PHF. It's easy to get over eager in overtime knowing that a goal will win it. But with three on three, there's a lot of open space on the ice. That means mistakes will be glaring if you make them. So you got to have patience and play smart hockey. Toronto possession now going the other way. It's Tabin. Of course, has some space. Looking for a cutter in Dark Angelo. Here's an opportunity. And there you have it. Toronto wins. In overtime, Brittany Howard flicks it home. Scores the first goal of the game, scores the last goal of the game. And Toronto with their first victory here of the season in front of the crowd they were so excited to play in front of. And the Whitecaps surround Amanda Levier. And as they should, she played a tremendous game and a tough goal to finish on for Amanda Levier. But what a fantastic opportunity for the Toronto Six, capitalizing on it and winning this one at home to get their first victory of the season.